Zachariah. That was really interesting and very entertaining. I was happy to come with you. Even if your excursions are not really... Anyway, I have patience to see. I have to go. Thank you, Scott. And thank you for your help. I'll see you later. Bye, Amelia. And take care of yourself. Bye. Mancer? I've got, uh, something to ask you. What can I do for you? I... Well, I don't know if you know, but my dad died when I was young. Actually, he disappeared. He never came back from one of his explorations 15 years ago. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, I don't want your pity, okay? It's not about that. What I mean is, I've never managed to find out what kind of mission he was on and where he had gone. I know he was close to Scott. He was probably even his best friend. That old crazy man doesn't want to tell me anything. He says he wants to protect me. Look, I'll just cut to the point. I was wondering if you'd maybe look in his dispensary for me. See if you could find any of my father's notes, or letters, or... I don't know, Amelia. Scott's like a father to me. And besides, you know he's almost always there. How would I even do it? I'm not asking you to break in or steal nothing. Just keep him busy. And while you are there, you know, just flip through files. I'm sure he kept letters between him and my dad. He's not one to throw anything away. All right. I'll try to make him leave, but if I don't find anything... Yeah, yeah, I won't blame you. But I know that you're going to find something. Hello, Mancer. Hello. Hello, Scott. My captain told me that she wanted to see you. Is it related to you? Are you sick? Uh, no. Not that I know of. She didn't tell me why. Oh, I... well, should I take my pouch then? It's an important question. I should still take it though, but it's a little heavy. All right, I'm leaving without it. Hello, Mancer. Hello. I found some of your father's letters. I knew it. Tell me. Most of the correspondence was friendly. They were very close. However, there was some tension between them over time. Some letters gloss over an expedition that they had done together. But what surprised me the most is when your father talks about a boy who was actually Scott's son. The last letter I found is a bit bizarre. I didn't really understand what he meant. What did he mean? Do you remember? Your dad begged Scott to stop the madness, warning that his wife's divorce was only the beginning of what he would lose if he couldn't face the truth. That it was too late for his son. He seemed to think Scott was on the verge of self-destruction. It's true that it's rather mysterious. Scott, a son. Did you know? No. He never told me about him. He obviously lost him. No doubt it's still a touchy subject. We have to find out what this is all about. You have to ask his wife. Did my father really mean to interfere in his family drama? Maybe that's why he disappeared? Please, Zechariah! I'm sorry, Deb. Are you Angela Seeker, Scott's wife? Ex-wife. <laughs> what did the drunk do this time? Nothing bad. He's a friend. A friend? Ah. Uh, right. 
Just looking for some information on one of his friends. Mark. And your son. Get out. Get out! What right do you have coming around digging up the past? I'm not here to make you relive your pain. And I'm sorry if that's what it looks like, but I'm here for Mark's daughter. She sent me to try to figure out what happened to her father. The poor girl. Hard enough to lose things when you're old enough to understand. She was just a girl when Mark disappeared. If resurrecting my pain can help ease hers... I loved our son. Scott did too. But he was never around. He was too lost in his research. Lost in the dream of making the discovery of the century. Of becoming a hero in abundance. Then, one day... Our son started to show signs of mutation. When Scott noticed them, he lost it. He tried to hide him as he desperately dove back into his research to find a cure. With Scott gone all the time, I turned to Mark for a shoulder to cry on. Told him what was going on. So Mark tried to reason with Scott. But you could never reason with him. He always thought he knew more. Then our son was arrested, and Scott and Mark just took off on some crazy expedition. Left me alone to deal with it all. So I filed for divorce. <laughs> I was alone anyway. Then they came back, with nothing to show for all the damn time they were gone. But that didn't stop Scott. No, he just dove deeper into his work. And when Mark disappeared, I was sure it was because of another one of Scott's crazy missions. So tell Amelia, it was Scott's incessant need to be right. To be a hero that undoubtedly cost her father his life. And that's it. That's all I know. Hell, I can feel for what the old man's been through. I've known some folks myself who went through the same thing. Why never again? Because they sterilize families who've had a mute to make sure they don't have no more. Hello, Mancer. Hello. I talked to Scott's ex-wife. So? What did she say? It's an awful story. Her son... Anyway, their son was struck by mutation. They took him away from them, of course, but it made Scott go crazy, and he was convinced that he could find a remedy. He asked for your father's help, so they left together, and were gone for a long time. Their exploration apparently didn't lead to anything concrete for the boy, and Scott descended into madness. And then one day, Mark left. His ex thinks that it was to bring back something useful for his research, and he never came back. Shit. So, my father's disappearance is related to that poor kid? It's... really awful what they must have gone through. That explains a lot about why he's so crazy, and also why he behaves as if we were his kids. Thank you, Zack. That doesn't answer all of my questions, far from it. But I have a better grasp of what happened. My father disappeared by helping his best friend, who was going through a rough patch and wanted to heal his child. It's a sad but beautiful story, isn't it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna think about all this. Thank you again.